So is there an environmental impact on biomass and what is it? Well, probably the biggest environmental benefit of biomass is really the unspoken one. The fact that biomass allows plants and trees to do their jobs to make clean air and clean water before you're harvesting energy. So the sun shines, the plants absorb it, they make clean air, clean water, and then their waste biomass is created, creates energy. Now with a solar panel, solar panels are great, but you're not going to make any clean air, you're not going to make any clean water. Those natural processes are almost impossible to, to replicate. And so biomass gives us something incredibly valuable in partnership with the environment. And of course, that agricultural waste is going to be used as feedstock instead of being shipped away as trash. When those feedstocks are shipped away as trash, whether they're shells or, or sticks or whatever, that takes petroleum. It takes petroleum to get that out of there, or many times it's just burnt on site and sent off as, as um, waste smoke, and it's nothing at all is harvested. When biomass is grown responsibly, it can be used for buffer zone to keep nitrates out of water and provide habitat for animals. And crops like switchgrass actually deposit nitrogen into the soil, whereas crops like corn remove it. And gasification of biomass is a very low water intensive energy source. Now, as far as gasifier outputs, you're going to be getting producer gas, tars, heat, and biochar. The producer gas is going to be carbon monoxide and hydrogen rich, trace elements of methane, and nitrogen. The tars are all sorts of conglomeration of hydrocarbon strains. And then the heat, of course, is just waste heat. Let's talk about the biochar right now. Biochar is the byproduct of gasification. Think of it as a carbon-rich ash. And when that carbon-rich ash is put into the soil, it's incredibly nutritious for plants and the soil microbes. And by putting biochar into the ground, you're actually sequestering carbon and giving the plants nutrients that allow them to consume more carbon. Now the emissions, or at least the possible emissions from gasification, could be tarry water, nitrogen oxide, CO2, and smoke. Now when tarry water is a byproduct of gasification, it means you're probably either not reaching proper combustion temperatures or you're using water as your filtration medium. The solution to this is to use dry filtering methods and avoid the water completely. Nitrogen oxide is a byproduct of the combustion process. So when you're running your producer gas in an engine, there's a good chance you're going to be making some nitrogen oxide. And the solution is really just to use a catalytic converter, much like modern cars do. And in terms of smoke, you are starting a fire, and until you get up to operating temperature, you are going to be producing smoke. So the solution is to really use a strong blower motor that reduces your startup times. Gasification does release carbon. Now the carbon that's released is equal to the amount of carbon that was absorbed by the plants in the first place, so gasification is carbon neutral. And with the use of biochar being sequestered in the soil, you, you actually have a slightly carbon negative process. And don't forget to visit the Gasifier store at gasifierstore.com for all your gasification parts and kits. New stuff is added weekly.